Hi everyone, it's Chris from Silver Fit, one of the yoga teachers um, that works normally at the hub in Tottenham. And um, today our sort of focus is going to be on the seventh chakra. We've worked our way up through the chakra systems and we've reached the crown of the head. And this is often known as um, uh, the sides of a, the lotus flower of a thousand petals, each of those petals of different colours. Yeah, so there's no particular colour associated with this seventh chakra, or there's every colour associated with it. Um, we've got the main sort of several little things I want to say. Firstly, thank goodness the wardrobe is gone. <laughs> We still have this sort of block of different colours in the background. Managed to get rid of that, this more sort of space, which is appropriate for this practice, really, because we're moving into the space of consciousness, yeah, of higher consciousness. So a lot of um, the different aspects of yoga, the eight limbs of yoga um, that were identified by one of the first writers about yoga patanjali a collection of practices um the, the whole of this is seen to lead up to transcending ourselves and discovering something that we're all part of that is bigger than us um so a lot of focus on meditation and some asanas and physical practices that will bring us into a meditative sort of place um be very good we'd be about 15 minutes in the meditation and ideally it should be seated so if you've got a chair to sit on or s several blocks so that you can feel comfortable um or you can sit with your back against the wall uh, basically what you're looking for when we get there i'll say a tiny bit more i'm saying too much now um, is, is a straight back, yeah. So let's go into the physical practice. We start by lying down and we'll just take a breather here. So just into Shavasana, if that's comfortable for you. Bent knees really kind on the back, wherever feels comfy, chin tucked down and just roll the head very slowly from side to side. Very slow movement of the head. Back to stillness, deep breath in through the nose, loud breath out through the mouth. Two more sighing breaths. <sighs> Once more, just letting go of your day, letting go of everything you don't need. <sighs> and drawing the knees gently into the chest, up and asana. So exhale, let the knees drop forward, inhale in. Exhale out, inhale in, exhale, let the feet find the floor, little pelvic tilts, pelvic tilts of the lower back, so the tummy muscles gently draw together, and then extend that through the vertebra of the back until you reach a strong bridge position, press into the feet, really feel the front of the legs working, Chin tuck down, exhale gently down, vertebra by vertebra, knees to the chest, release as the feet touch the floor, peeling the spine off the floor into this strong bridge posture so you feel the weight in the shoulders, legs working, buttocks working, exhale down. Releasing, relaxing that tension brought by the posture last time. Deep bridge, strongest bridge of your day. 
pressing and then exhale each vertebra slowly down nice upper nasana drawing the knees just clasp the knees over the chest relax through the shoulders through the back and let the left foot go to the floor and let the right ankle go on the left knee so thread the needle posture or what i call pigeon lying down posture lift the left foot off the floor feel a stretch here in this outer muscle and you can thread your hand through that gap over the shin drawing the leg in or take the leg to the ceiling a gentle watch there's no torque of the knee keep the um, the foot flexed and just feel that stretch working into the tummy as well exhale left foot down right foot down just deep breath in through the nose long breath out <sighs> relaxing through the back and then left ankle to right knee right knee towards your face threading through clasping the shin or clasping behind the thigh or just grabbing the trousers where, wherever works for you just working into a nice external thigh of the left leg stretch lift a little, a little rock, exhale, right foot down, left foot down, deep breath in, long breath out through the nostril this time. Knees to the chest. And then feet to the ceiling, knees down towards the floor. So holding on wherever works. Yeah, and if available, taking the inside or the outside of the feet. A happy baby, or maybe not so happy baby. Exhale, right knee down to the floor. Release, left knee down to the floor. Release. Exhale, draw both knees out to the side towards the floor. Three breaths, looking down the torso. You can lift the neck and just work into, if you want to, or just really feeling the stretch in the hips here. Exhale, guide the feet together. Rotate. So the hands are on the knees, gently circling. Change the direction of the circle soles of the feet to the floor hands by the side you're going to push up to a seated position and we're going to come into this boat posture so you really see my rounded back you're sort of looking for that straight back look forward into the distance lift flex point and down lift flex point down you can do this quickly both together and down i find it works better to keep it for the back if you stretch forward lift whoops ooh, and hold some days are better than others yep and then take the hands back and come into a tabletop so just straightening the body, looking forward or looking up or looking back. Being mindful of the neck. Exhale. Just reach forward. Going back there, this time the option, you can do tabletop again, knees bent, or take the feet towards the floor and just lifting. So working into the shoulders. Holding. Breathing, exhale, release, and come on to the front of the body. I'll keep with the sideways demonstration, I think. And the, the elbows are underneath the shoulders. And we breathe in, into a cobra. 
nice calibre position. Exhale, down once more into the cobra, breathing in, the crown of the head stretches forward, the toes on the feet stretch back, the spine is long, you lift your chest, big, strong, protective cobra. There's a, a story that the, the comb of the cobra protected the Indian deities. And exhale, slowly down, hands by the side, press into the hands and come into child. I'm going to do a nice little sequence um, where from child, the head skims through, you come into cobra, you tuck the toes under, come into down dog. So we breathe in, skim through, straighten the legs into down dog. Back into plank, bend the knees, and come into child. So skim through. Try and get lower on your skim than I do. Toes under, straight legs up into down dog. Little walk of the dog. Onto the heel toe, balls of the feet. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bend the knees. Come into child. Once, one last time, breathing in, exhale, straighten, lift, walk the dog, and then bend. And then take the forearms to the floor, keep your hips above your knees, walk the hands forward and take the forehead to the floor. And then take the arms straight and then release. So very strong stretch, puppy dog stretch into the arms and into the shoulders. So just once more, you can just keep it at this position or if the forehead will go to the floor and you can go onto the fingertips. That brings a lot of challenge. Breathe in, tuck and walk the hands towards the head. So we've two more postures to go. Very strong, so take it very easy. And um, some of them, it won't be strong for you, but um, we're going to come back and forward, back and forward, back, forward. Back. So just warming up the front of the thighs and then tuck the toes under, that gives the foot height, we're going for camel, so we lift the right arm and just come back and then come forward, lift the left arm on the in breath, breathe in, on the out breath go back, on the in breath come forward. And then, and that might be more than enough. So you can keep with the right, left, or you can go with both. So we breathe in, we exhale, come back. Inhale, lift, exhale down. So let's do that right arm and back, forward and down, left. Forward and down. Now you can stay with that or you can go with both. Up and down. Think of the chest lifting. In, up, exhale, and down. Just take a little figure of eight breather, a little wriggle. Just cat cow or side to side or shoulder to shoulder. And then coming back to that posture, we go for the full camel. So if you want to stay with forward, back, right, left, whatever, stay with that. But we're going up, lift the chest, exhale the right hand to the foot, inhale, lift, exhale, out, lifting the chest. And then inhale slowly forward. 
exhale. And let's come to a lying position. And just take a few empty breaths. That's the end of the asana practice. And this is just, don't drop into a deep relaxation. This is just as a counter posture to what we've just been doing. So just draw the knees into the chest and the soles of the feet to the floor, the arms in a T shape and just drop the knees to the right and look to the left. Inhale everything back to the center. Knees to the left, gaze to the right, inhale, exhale the hands down by the side of the body and we're going to come up through the arms into a seated position. So this is where um, it would be a good idea for you to find your chair if you're going to sit on a chair for the meditation, ground the feet on the floor. Um, if you want to sit with your back against the wall, I find that um, very helpful because um, I tend to slump. What we're trying to do is keep the back straight so that there's a direct channel right through Shishamna, right to the crown of the head, up and beyond into the broadest consciousness that is beyond the universe. So that's our sort of journey. Just take a while to sort of get yourself into a place where you feel prepared for the meditation. Just checking that you feel comfortable and also don't feel, you do try to go for stillness in meditation, but do not feel fixed and tense within the sort of position. Um, if you need to move, you do move to make yourself comfortable. But try to find at this stage um, a place that is comfortable that allows you to be still. And close your eyes and go inside to your inner temple. And take a few slow breaths here. Settling into your body with each breath. Going more deeply inward. Let your body become more still with each breath, settling into place, consolidating into finer and finer stillness. When your mind begins to quiet, listen to the emptiness. Direct your attention more to the spaces between your thoughts rather than the thoughts themselves. And allow the thoughts to become like a distant mumble as you move further and further away from them. Simply observe without comment as the emptiness grows larger and the thoughts begin to wane. Now allow yourself to become aware of your body from the inside with your eyes closed, still closed, feel its weight and breath, the presence of your body 
taking up space. What is it that you are now aware of? Shift your attention to that place. And draw it back from the body and up to the crown. And now become aware of any emotions or urges. Perhaps you feel restless, hungry sad, impatient, whatever arises. Allow your awareness to keenly observe the sensations that produce those feelings. And bring your attention to your awareness rather than the sensations. Who is it that is feeling these things? And your attention to that awareness. And next, become aware of any part of you that is worried about doing things correctly. Be amused at yourself. Relax your effort and smile. Now bring your attention to your breath. Imagine each breath as a loving entity that is filling you as you inhale and cleansing you as you exhale, like a loving caress. Who is it that is watching the breath? With what are you able to sense the breath? Withdraw your awareness from the breath knowing it will continue and draw your attention up to the crown of your head. Notice any inner dialogue that is going on, the subtle murmur of commentary in your head that we call thinking. Detach yourself from that commentary as if it were a conversation in another language. Become aware of the person that is hearing these thoughts. Next, imagine that you can see your subtle body as a light body. All the nadis, the energy channels, are sparkling with light. With each of the chakras shining like jewels in their rainbow colours. See the beauty of the prana, the life force within you. Who is it that is seeing this beauty? Who is looking? With what faculty are you able to imagine and see? Bring your awareness now to the part of you that is aware. Feel your awareness becoming aware of itself and becoming aware of the part that is aware of that and aware of that. Notice how this inquiry is infinite and pause for a while here. Finally, imagine there is a greater awareness above and around you that is completely aware of you as you sit in meditation. Imagine you are this awareness calmly and dispassionately holding your consciousness in this awareness. Allow the space of that awareness to get emptier and emptier, imagining that you are piercing the space between the stars and moving out 
beyond the galaxy, even beyond the universe itself. See, the whole universe is a pulsating state of awareness that is ever-present, eternal and intelligent. Bask here in the miracle of cosmic consciousness and pause for a while. Allow your universal awareness to become aware of your tiny body sitting in meditation down here on this planet we call Earth. Imagine a direct flow of love and grace from that universal awareness to your individual self. Allow that flow to be like a cloak of love wrapped around your temple, holding you in perfect stillness and understanding. Return your awareness to your heart as you receive this love and grace. And when you are filled up, say thank you and slowly open your eyes. So I'm just blinking the eyes into awareness and I'm just touching each thumb fingertips is bringing, I'm wriggling the toes, and is bringing a deep breath, and exhale the energy around. Let's wriggle the shoulders, and then move the head. And we're just going to finish with an on universal sound and awareness. Um. Thumbs to the heart centre, toes, thumbs to Vashna Chakra, to the Namaste. So thank you everybody, that's the seventh chakra, the last in the sort of series. Um, the next video will put all the chakras together. So I hope the sense of stillness and peace that has been brought by the meditation stays with you till we meet again. Take care. Enjoy.